Data East Arcade 2 for Evercade collects together 12 all-time classics and cult favourites from the renowned Japanese developer. Data East's strength has always been the sheer diversity of its output, and this collection is an excellent example of how varied their arcade games have been over the years. Whether you're indulging your nostalgia with the company's earlier titles, or enjoying the spectacle of its later releases, there's something for everyone to enjoy here. Released in 1990, Edward Randy, also known as The Cliffhanger, is a visually spectacular arcade game inspired by classic adventure movies, anime and manga. You take on the role of the eponymous hero as he attempts to thwart the evil schemes of the mysterious Dark Ogre, armed only with that tool beloved of all action adventurers, a whip. Edward Randy's unique selling point, besides its presentation, is how it ties your score and health directly together. The more enemies you defeat, the more points you'll gain, and the longer you'll be able to survive. Conversely, taking damage causes you to take a hit to your score too, so only the very best players will top the high score table in this one. Back in the day, Edward Randy was set to be ported to a variety of systems, including home computers and consoles, but none of these versions ever made it out to market. This Evercade version marks the game's first official home release. Originally released in 1990, Trio the Punch, Never Forget Me, is one of Data East's most notorious games. Ostensibly a beat-em-up that unfolds across a whopping 35 stages, Trio the Punch has become a cult favourite over the years for its offbeat sense of humour, frequent non-sequiturs, and casual disregard for conventional game structure, narrative, and the laws of physics. Trio the Punch can be looked upon as a parody of Data East's other games, since characters from those games show up as enemies and bosses throughout. Each stage offers its own distinct challenge, and part of the fun is figuring out exactly what is expected of you in each scenario. Tree of the Punch, Never Forget Me, is aptly named. It's hilarious fun that you certainly won't forget about in a hurry, and with Data East Arcade 2 for Evercade, you can enjoy it at home or on the go as much as you like. Released in 1994, Joe and Mac Returns is a shift in style for Data East's popular platformer series. While the previous three entries had all been side-scrolling platformers for the arcades and home consoles, Joe and Mac Returns adopts the single-screen elimination platformer format. As in other games of this type, your aim in Joe and Mac Returns is to clear each screen of enemies while amassing as many points as possible. You achieve this in classic caveman style, by bopping enemies on the head with your club, then flinging them at your other foes in the stage. You can net yourself additional bonuses by rescuing the cave women trapped in each stage too. Each shows their appreciation with a shower of goodies that your high score will very much appreciate. Joe and Mac Returns is a colourful, exciting arcade game that is great fun played solo or with a friend. With Data East Arcade 2 for Evercade, you can enjoy it to your heart's content without ever worrying about running out of credits. And that's not all you get with Data East Arcade 2 for Evercade. You'll deliver delicious desserts in Peter Pepper's Ice Cream Factory.
pilot an experimental fighter in B-Wings. Take down the mob in shootout. Enjoy multi-directional shoot-em-up action in last mission. Rob trains in the Old West in Express Raider. Battle enemies with an evolutionary twist in SRD Super Real Darwin. Take on the evil King Crimson in Midnight Resistance. <laughs> Reclaim New York City after a disaster in Crude Buster. And build yet another better burger in Super Burger Time. Data East Arcade 2 for Evercade will be available from November 2024.